Okay then, Chris. So why is it that uh, estate agents and letting agencies are finding things so tough at the moment? The problem is, Jeff, is, is that there's simply not enough houses coming on the market for the estate agency arms. And when it comes to the letting agents, they need more properties on the market with landlords giving them the properties. And the landlords aren't simply swapping agents anymore, just like people aren't swapping banks. It's, it's really tough for them at the moment to get those businesses, those properties on their, on their books. So what can businesses do to improve things for themselves? Well, the traditional techniques of, of attracting landlords and homeowners don't seem to work as well as they used to. The normal techniques of hire an estate agent you come and use as brand marketing, brand awareness don't work. But I think that's endemic of, of, of all industries and all marketing that people don't care about. People don't, people don't care about marketing. They don't care about firms. In fact, I think people ignore adverts, don't you think? Um, certainly people, I think, look for other ways and other testimonies rather than simply absorbing what uh, a business wants to say about itself. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, people spend, you know, will, will, people will take them the, the advice of someone they've never met, like TripAdvisor, um, someone's comments over and above a, a firm spending thousands and thousands of pounds. Um, in, in marketing a, a holiday, and I think that's the way estate agency is going as well. Okay, so what practical things could an estate agent do to improve in this area? Well, the, the problem with estate agency and letting agents is that there's too much competition, and if people are, are ignoring the adverts, you need to cut through all that because it's all about grabbing people's attention and getting them to engage with you before they need you as an estate agent or a letting agent. So when they do need you, you're already there. The question is, how do you do that? Until today, I've never heard the expression landlord farming. So could you explain to me what that actually means? Well, about four or five years ago, um, I used to work for a large uh, company and I noticed uh, state agents and letting agents. And I noticed that there were a number of, uh, probably three or four of them that were pulling trees up and growing at 20 or 30% a year. So I went and had a look at their marketing techniques. And their marketing techniques were very different to what everyone else's were. Instead of talking about how brilliant they were, how many offices they had, how many awards they'd won and what they'd sold and what they'd let, instead they were talking about stuff that interested landlords and homeowners, which was what was happening in the property market. And, and those four or five offices that were really growing at 20 or 30% were talking about the property market, not about themselves. And let's be honest, we've all been to parties and someone talks about themselves all night. Don't we? <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like um, in my in my world, uh, almost editorial integrity. That instead of an advertisement where someone can say what they like about their business, it carries a lot more weight if the newspaper or the radio station actually says that it believes that this company is doing well because it's doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I mean, you don't even talk about yourself, which is quite counterintuitive. You talk about the property market, what's happening to property prices, rents, and, and, and yields. I mean, Jeff, tonight, if you went home um, and you saw a brand new facade board on your street that wasn't there this morning, what do you think you and the rest of the world would do? You uh, go onto the internet and look and see how much it's on the market for because that probably gives you an indication of what your house might be worth. But would you do that if that for sale board was two miles down the road? Probably not. Probably not. So if you think people are interested in themselves and what's happening in the property market, all I'm advocating as state agents and letting agents do is talk about the local property market and you'll become the most interesting person in the world to people who own properties, be they landlords or um, be they homeowners. Okay, so how would you go about um, establishing uh, a business in that market to make those sort of things start to happen for you? Well, you need to know where the eyeballs of all the homeowners and the landlords are. And the, the first place uh, that most, a lot of eyeballs are, are, are on mobile phones using social media. So the first thing you need to do is work out all well, most homeowners tend to be 35 40 50 60 70 so those social those sort of age range people tend to be more on facebook and the professionals tend to be on linkedin and what you then do is create content i mean what i'd say to anyone listening to this is there is actually a uh, a scientific marketing technique called content marketing and that's what landlord farming is landlord farming is content marketing for estate agents and letting agents and 
Content marketing is the, is the creation of content which is compelling and interesting to a target audience, which is homeowners and landlords, which drives them into your arms. So to answer your question, social media is the first and obvious place. But again, don't talk about yourself or your firm or your services. Talk about the property market, what's, what's, what's selling, what, what prices are selling for, um, rents, yields. These are stuff that landlords adore and, and homeowners want to know what's selling and where the good areas are. So just talk about that. That's one thing. Okay. If, if a business does uh, landlord farming well, what sort of an impact could someone expect it to have on their business? Well, the downside to landlord farming, Jeff, is that it takes a good six, nine, even 12 months for it to see any impact in the business. The downside is, is that I think a lot of people in this world are looking for instant results, you know, and we've got over the last 10 or 20 years, we've got used to it. instant love with Tinder, you know, swipe right, we, you know, um, instant TV, TV on our own time with Netflix. And, and other such things, and shopping with Amazon, you know, you can just go on and order something. But there isn't an app for building up trust. Well, not unless, I, unless you know anything, Jeff. Mm. And by building up that trust, which you can't buy and it takes time, that's the downside to the system, that you have to be patient. And it's really hard work to do this content, to do articles about the property market, to do videos, to do podcasts, and keep doing it for weeks and months and months without any return. And that's the downside to it, that you've got to have patience as well as hard work for it to work. But boy, oh boy, if you've got the patience and you do it right, you will succeed. You just have to wait a good nine, 12 months for it to kick in.